All right, guys, um, I want to change the, uh, the fuel filter, so I've got a secondary filter in here as well, so I'll do both at the same time and then uh, give you an idea what's involved. So this one here's got two uh, bolts uh, that you've got to undo to get this guy out. I'll show you that. And um, sometimes it makes it easier taking these fuel hoses off so you can get to the housing to take pipe off. Um, just some flathead screwdrivers, I'll show you that anyway. So there's a 12 mil. Um, come off easy enough and then uh, you just need a flathead, flathead to get these two hose clamps off. Alright. Oh guys, so once you've got these two hoses off, you might lose a little bit of diesel, put a rag down there, then you have this clip here that holds on the, uh, the water valve, and then you should be able to just lift it out. So that's it there, and you can put that assembly somewhere where you can muck around with it. Right. You just want a milk jug handy or something that you can drain the uh, extra diesel onto. That one there. Just using the primer valve to pump the diesel out. It's got a fair bit in there. It's probably, well, whatever size the filter is, 500 mil with diesel. That's the most of it anyway. Get some rags and clean that up. Alright, you just want to get yourself some locking pliers or present or whatever. Get, get and get this started. I had to give it a bit of hurt because the last bloke that put this on did it a bit tight. This is your float valve. And you can, you can drain the water out through that little, little wing nut bent thing too. Alright, there's your float valve there. Dry that off and put it somewhere safe. Alright, guys, this uh, fuel filter was put on by Hercules himself, so if you've got one of these filter wrenches and uh, that buddy, what do you call it? The clamp, then you can uh, clamp this to the surface and then uh, use this to get it off. But, um, it wasn't that easy, it gave it a lot of hurt. Maybe we can hear me puffing. But, uh, yeah, the joys. So yeah, take that off, that can go in the bin, and then uh, get yourself a new filter, I'll video that anyway. Alright guys, there's some new diesel filters there. Get this guy from uh, oil felt filter discounters as well. Um, what you want to do, comes with a spare o-ring for the, uh, the sender unit. Keep him put it aside. And then uh, I always date these as well. Put this on the side there. Hopefully it'll end up where you can see it. 120,000. And then uh, you want to grab a little bit of diesel off the old one. Just to wet the o-ring. Let me get them. Yep. Just so it's not going onto a dry surface. And then uh, grab your filter, grab your housing. Clean this one all down. So, um, yeah, just double check it's all clean, filter's good, and then you just want to put this guy on, and you just want to go hand tight, and a quarter of a turn, you don't need to uh, put it on like those other savages. Alright, so that one's ready to go, and um, I'll get the other filter out and show you how to do that one. Alright guys, I um, jumped the gun there, so I want to change this uh, filter off, the uh, ring off, so that just comes off. Throw that away, get your new one. Where are you? Get your new one and... I do keep these in the shed so you just want to make sure they haven't gone brittle or anything. And just get yourself a bit of diesel. See the oil but... I don't know, I don't know if you want to contaminate your, your fuel with oil so... And then just get this guy started. Make sure the thread's going in alright. And then you want to just go hand tight. And there we are, four of a turn. And there, that one's ready to go now. So this, guys, this one's uh, the secondary filter. So this is the fuel manager one. And these are just got a lock ring on here, to the side here, and you just got to grab it and 
twist it and you loosen it off and then it pretty much just drops down so you can do it. Drops down. It's real easy to do. Don't lose the lock ring. But yeah, that's um that's how quick I got it out. And um it's got a little drain on the bottom here. You just want to loosen it off and we should piss out. Looks very clean so pretty happy with it. Doing his job. Should be saving this sandwich diesel first these days. Under the guy drip. That's pretty much it. There's still a bit more left in there. And then you just want to get your new filter, transfer these bits off it. We might have to get some additional leverage on that, but this is what you want off it. So I just got the grips under this end, these guys, and then um, if you only want to be hand tight, this comes off. And should be an O-ring there, so that goes in the bin, and uh, you keep the rest of the guy. So we'll get we'll get the new one out. Alright guys, this is by um, Parker, same, same brand. Just, um, I think it's worked out to be a bit cheaper this way. So that's the part number there. I'm just drawing this one like I do all mine. 120. And then it comes with this guy on the bottom. Just gonna get rid of that. Okay, we'll keep it. So that's that. And then this guy screws into this one. So just make sure that our ring's looking alright. Lubed up. Diesel. And that screws under there. I just want to go hand tight. I'm good. And then this one can come out. That's that one. I'll just give this a clean off. The dirt and shit clicks in there. It's actually a bit of sediment and shit in that bowl, but um, I'm just trying to think of the best way to get that out. Yeah, we'll have a look at that. But right, guys, yeah, there's a little bit of sediment in the bowl there, but it's not huge, and um, that's where all the crap goes, so that should be right like that. Um, this is a new uh, drain, so I just want to make sure that that ring's sitting all right. Got a bit of diesel on it. Probably got shit loads of your fingers. So. And that just goes into there. All right. And, uh... That's that ready to go. I might have to draw that on again. Give it a little bit of herbs. Put it back on. And then that slides in under it, clips in, locks in, so we'll do that. Alright guys, I just pulled the housing out just so you can see get a better look of it. So the filter sits in there and then the clip just clips in, so I'll do that while I've got it sitting out there. Where are ya? Now you get right where I left ya. So you can keep that ring off. You want to just so where it is, puts that in, uh, push it in, straight, and then click. So. Just slide off the ship. Lay me back down a bit up there. So that goes in, and then you just get this lock ring, and that's it. So there's not too much to it, really. So I'll bolt that back in, and um. Put the main filter back in. Alright guys, um, so now I've got that back in place with the filter in. So you just want to snake this uh, sensor wire underneath this uh, bit of metal, if your car's like this. And um, then just mount that onto the two posts. And just make sure you're not squishing anything. Yep. So, but before you forget, I always plug this in first because I always forget. That's your, um, whoops. Goes in only one way, that's your little water sensor unit. See so if you've got any water on your fuel. You don't want that going off. So that sits there, clips in there. And then uh, we'll bolt this guy in. And then put the hoses back on. So these were 12 and a half mil, or 12 mil nuts. So they so just go back on. Now I'll um, 
Tighten the nose up and put the clamps back on. It's all pretty self-explanatory. Little one goes on the little one, big one goes on the big one. And then I'll um, show you how to prime it. Alright right, guys, um, now I've got the hose tank back on. This is all fixed back in. What I do is I just keep priming this until I feel resistance. And you'll be able to see the bulb on the secondary uh, fuel filter. We'll start to fill up with diesel. So you just got to create a suction and um, prime these filters. It does take a while. And what you can do is there's a little set screw here, you can back that off and then you keep pumping this till the diesel just squirts out and then put it back in. But I've never had a problem, but I don't worry about myself. Alright, I'll get this primed up and see if she starts. Alright guys, once she's primed up, the prime bulb just goes rock hard, you can't um, get any more in there. So she's pretty little truck as a diesel and uh, most of the time uh, she'll prime herself. Um, yeah, you can let the air out there if you're really worried, but I don't worry about it. But yeah, I reckon we'll give her a start. Alright, moment of truth with the, uh, the fuel system. And she starts. Yes. Yeah. 